Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Cool J once again. Now, everybody knows what the title is, uh, title right there above, when you see at the top of the video, and it says, Michael Jordan told LeBron James what to do. And if you guys did not see the video that, Le that Michael Jordan respond to LeBron James, that, you know, that commercial, what should I do, check that video out in the description box. That is something right there. That's something you need to see. Check it out. Now, of course, of course, someone put it there and, you know, put it themselves. But there is a video called Maybe It's My Fault by, by Michael Jordan. And quite frankly, you guys know who, who he's talking about. He's talking about LeBron James. I mean, he was talking about maybe it's my fault. Maybe, maybe, uh, you know, maybe, I, maybe my highlights start at the free throws and not in the gym. Well, people believe that. Maybe I made the game easy. Maybe... Maybe I made people believe that that it was a God give giving gift, and that's something that I work for every day of my life. Maybe I destroy the game, or maybe you just making excuses. You know stuff like, you know stuff like that. And and the reason I guess the reason why he brought that up is because LeBron James he feels like he's the new Michael Jordan, but the difference between Michael Jordan and LeBron James is that even if Michael Jordan was struggling with the Bulls. In 1986 and 1987, well, 1986 through 1990, even if he was struggling with the Bulls, he knew that just that you know there was something really going wrong. He needed to go to another team to to go to win a ring. I couldn't do that. He he didn't want to do that, because, even though he was the star. And besides, and besides, especially when he was going to the Pistons, the 1988 through 1990. Oh man, it was like, it was like, oh yeah, the Pistons were going at Michael Jordan because they felt like, well, if if the if Michael Jordan has the ball, the Pistons would go at him because he was the, because he was just the man of the Bulls. Like you know, what I'm saying he was the star of the Bulls. He was the he was gonna be the fact of the game if you just let him open. And and everybody knows that that the 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 Bulls teammates will pass the ball to Michael Jordan. And that's who they pass to. That's who they would depend on. The Bulls always depend on Michael Jordan. And so in 1991, excuse me, the the Bulls found out, Michael Jordan found out that they can't depend on Michael Jordan all the time. And Michael Jordan realized himself that he, they cannot depend on him all the time to win this and win that because that's not how they're going to go to the NBA Finals. And and so they changed something. They organized other stuff. They, um... You know, they got better players, they work as a team, and Michael Jordan, you know, passed the ball. And that's it. He wasn't being selfish, he passed the ball. And that's how they won six rings. And that's how they were able to sweep the Pistons in 1991. So that's what happened. But, this, but the but for LeBron James and the Cavaliers is that, okay, he tried it in 2005. Well, he went to the playoffs in 2005, didn't work out. He did it. He, he he tried to go to the playoffs in 2006. Did they go to the playoffs in 2005? I don't know. But still, he went to the playoffs in 2006. Didn't work out. Went to the playoffs in 2007. Then he went to the NBA Finals, but got swept. He went to the playoffs in 2008. Eliminated. He went to the playoffs in 2009. Eliminated. He went to the playoffs again in 2010 and eliminated. So I guess LeBron just figured out that well, I don't want to be here anymore because nothing's working out. So, especially, you know, uh, someone you know, slept with his mother and, you know, he felt like, well, I don't need to be here anymore. I mean, when LeBron, I mean, when LeBron James said that he, he was going to, he was on a mission that he was going to give a, get, get, get a goal, get the title for Cleveland, and he won't stop until he get it, you know, it's like, oh, wow. And he's going to Miami Heat. You know, to me, is that if you if you say you're gonna do something, and you know, especially for a city, do what you do. You know what I'm saying? And I know that you know sleeping with you with someone's mother, you know, it kind of bothers you. But they could have did something like got that player out. But like I said, it's his it's his opinion. You know, it's his choice. It's his choice. He wants to go to the Miami. That is him. You know, he. I mean. The way how he wants to go, go the way how he said, you know, I, I want to take my stuff to South Beach and join the Miami Heat. You know, he met, he it seems like he really wants to win a ring. 
But like I said, he's not he's not Michael Jordan. LeBron James is not like Michael Jordan. If LeBron James really wants to win a ring, he will find he will realize that you know the Cavaliers cannot depend on LeBron James all the time. You know, you know, like LeBron James is like it's like Michael Jordan before before he even won rings you know what I'm saying Michael, Michael Jordan was the star before he even won rings so is LeBron James LeBron James is the star but he has no rings so yeah so yeah that's really all I gotta say about that you know so I'm, I'm so glad that that uh, that he brought that up because like I said Michael Jordan is right you know people thought that Michael Jordan made the game easy but it was really hard you know he was just he was just really good at it he worked hard every day of his life oh yeah and what LeBron James is doing he just making excuses so like I said to the video out scratch the box right there and yeah let's see how the NBA goes especially with the Miami Heat you guys know what I'm talking about all right that's pretty much it you know contact me on Facebook myspace and Twitter Skype me Ella cool JJ Jabari all right oh yeah and one more thing um some updates about the sports news today show okay so um <clears throat> I'm going to make an episode on uh, Saturday 6 p.m. Eastern. I repeat, Saturday 6 p.m. Eastern. I know I've been I have not been an episode on the SNT show lately, so I'm going to make one this week and probably next week and and two weeks later that. Two weeks later. So yeah, that's what I got to say. All right. Peace out. Cool J. See you next time.